Look, I'll, let me just tell you the situation and then I'll explain why I may have sexually harassed an old woman. Okay? And now, now I understand that that sentence has a lot of prejudice attached to it, okay? We, we in, in a civilized society, generally speaking, don't like, you know, fully grown adult males going around sexually harassing old women, senior citizens. But in this case, she deserved it. No, that's not what happened. In this case, that's not what happened. It's one of those things where I have my memory of the incident and she has hers, all right? And, and it's, it's, you know what it is? It's one, normally I fucking hate the phrase, my truth. I don't like that, fr that phrase because there is the truth and then there is an opinion, all right? But in this scenario, I will allow it. There is her truth and there is my truth. And because of circumstances outside both of our control, technically both those truths are correct because perception's reality, baby. That's how the world works, right? And, and, and right now, in her truth, I am perceived as, a, as, a, as an insane sexual harasser. But, I'm an, but in my truth, the only truth that matters, I'm an innocent, I'm just an innocent man. I'm just an innocent man and I haven't done anything wrong. If this is your first episode of the Spearhead Sundays podcast, I hope it won't be your last. Welcome, okay? Now, let me paint the scene for you, okay? So I uh, am going to uh, a store to buy bedwear, right? I'm at a store that sells bed sheets, bed cloths, mattress covers, why? Why am I there? Because I'm in a relationship with a woman. So I have to frequent these hell holes, these hellish boxes of fucking $80 fabric with polka dots on it. It's awful, okay? Now keep in mind, I don't want to be there. Now when I don't want to be somewhere, guess whose problem it is? Hers, okay? Because I'm not going to help. I'm not going to suggest ideas. I'm just there... Because if I wasn't, she would get upset. That's a date when you've been with someone for 10 years. <laughs> no, we needed, we needed, uh, we needed uh, some mattress protector thing, right? So, so I am invested in this because I do spend a lot of time in bed. I don't do any sleeping, but I do spend a lot of time in there, right? Can't wait for my first snooze. So we're at the, now keep in mind, it's very important. I want you to understand it's very important that we are at a, a bedding store that sells bedding, okay? Now, also important, side note, we just adopted a cat. Another one. Yeah, I know. And I said no. This is when I wasn't living here. I was living at my parents because I was having a little breakdown, right? And then my girlfriend had a little breakdown. And then all of a sudden we got a cat that, that after I came back, both of us went, well, we don't really need him, do we? You know, we almost became those people that were like, oh, we wanted a puppy for Christmas, but then it grew up into a dog, so we fucking kicked it out of the house and told it to play in traffic. I wanted a puppy for a viral video, but it kind of it kind of just weed and, and, uh, and, and it didn't listen to me even though I didn't train it, so I'm going to send it back to the pound to have it put down in two weeks. I adopted a cat because I was sad, and now I'm not sad, so the cat's fulfilled its purpose. I'm going to open a window. That's how we're feeling. We're not going to do that. And the cat is growing on me, but let's just say this. He's annoying. He's an annoying little man. All right. The first male pet in this house and he's an annoying little man. His name is Ziggy. And I know this sounds like a tangent, but all of this information is crucial to my truth. Because right now in your brain, I'm, I'm some kind of sexual predator who harasses old women in public, in front of many people. But... Let, let me plead my innocent, let me plead my case and you'll be on my side and you'll know that she deserved... No, it's not... Listen, we got it, cat, okay? Now, we had two other cats, all right? One of them's very old, okay? That's very crucial. We got a new young male cat and we have an old female cat. Very important. Now, this old female cat, her name's Lady and she acts very curmudgeonly. Don't know what that word is? You've got to read more books, all right, 
Now, we frequently refer to her. Her nickname is Grandma. All right? Very important. We've got a young cat, young male cat, and then we've got an old grandma cat called Grandma. Okay? Now, we adopt this cat, and all of a sudden, he thinks that Lady, the old cat, is super fuckable. And he chases her around the house trying to fuck her. I don't know why. He's been desexed. He has no balls. She just must be a really fuckable grandma. That's a very important part in the story. I have a young cat and he's chasing after an old cat that we call lovingly grandma. All right. Now we go to the bedding store. Here's a story. Now I'm going to let you guys decide which version, version of truth you support, but I thoroughly encourage you to support my truth and not hers. Okay. We're in the bedding store. All right. Me and my girl, lost in conversation, having a great back and forth, talking about this cat. Neither of us really want to be there. It's a betting store, okay? We're just walking through. We're not really looking for anything. We're having a chat about the new cat, okay? Now, I jokingly say, okay, uh, I'm, I'm acting out what's happened. We're both talking, oh, my God, we can't believe that this young male cat is trying to have sex with our old cat. He's being de sex That's crazy. And then I go... Oh, well, she must be a really hot grandma. And then I imitated the young cat and I went, ooh, sexy grandma. And then about five steps in front of me, I hear the most horrified gasp I've ever heard in my life. And I look over to see what's happened. And I see that there is an old lady standing five feet in front of me in the fucking lingerie section of the bedding store and she heard me go, ooh, sexy grandma. And she obviously thinks, rightfully so, that I just saw her browsing underwear and went, ooh, sexy grandma. Why the fuck do they have lingerie in a bedding store? I I thought I was going to get kicked out. She was fucking horrified, rightfully so. I didn't know she was there. I was there to buy a fucking mattress cover. I ended up calling some woman a sexy grandma while she looks at underwear. And I realized I went through everything thing that I said in the, pre, in the conversation before the gasp. And I, I literally imitating my cat. I went, oh, look, a sexy grandma. Ooh, sexy grandma. <laughs> to this poor old woman who was just trying to buy a bra but why are they selling it at the bedding store i never would have said that shit if i was at victoria's secret i would have watched my fucking language i i, I don't know why would they do that to me i'm a victim you know this is why every now and then okay we could put a grain of salt in that believe all women shit because if she went to the cops, she would have a great story and that would sound true as fuck. But I'd have a better story, my truth. What am I going to say? Oh, sorry, Osifa. I was actually imitating my cat having sex with my older cat and doing stupid voices to make my girlfriend laugh in the bedding store. And that's why I said, oh, look, a hot grandma, sexy grandma. It had nothing to do with the old woman browsing lingerie right in front of me at the store. The cops would go, you didn't see it? And I would say, genuinely, no, I'm a fucking idiot, all right? I'm not very aware of my surroundings, especially not when I'm doing act outs of cats trying to fuck each other because I don't want to be in a mattress store. And really, that's whose fault it is. I think my girlfriend should be arrested for trying to take me to the bedding store. It's her fault that this happened. And to that old lady, if you're out there, I'm very sorry. And I understand that, that look, from your point of view, I definitely sexually harassed you, but in my truth, I was just doing a silly little bit about my silly little cats. And that has, that has nothing to do with your pussy. I was talking about mine. And, I mean, we all have these stories, don't we, of, of you saying something or someone overhearing an out-of-context thing. 
and then you not being able to like uh, explain yourself because I did, I didn't get a chance to explain myself because what happened was I heard the gasp, right? And I'm such an idiot. Okay. Did I go, Oh, look, a hot grandma, sexy grandma. She goes, <gasps> looks at me horrified, puts down the fucking bra she was holding and then waddles away as quickly as she can. Cause she was quite old, horrified. And then I looked behind me. <laughs> like, what is this bitch looking at? What's she seen? And then I didn't think anything of it. And then I did the whole fucking bed store transaction. We picked out what we wanted. We went, oh, this feels soft. This feels, no, oh, I think I'll get too hot in that. I like the color on this, but I don't like the material. We did that whole fucking bit. We buy the mattress. And then as I'm walking out the store, I'm going, what was that woman horrified about? And I rewind the tape in my brain and I go, oh, I sexually harassed her accidentally. And there is, and there's no way for me to explain myself because she was gone, which makes it look even worse because basically she was facing away from me. So all she heard was, oh, look, a hot grandma. Oh, sexy grandma. And then she looked at me and then I just fucking walked away. So it definitely looks like I did that shit at her for a laugh. Or because I thought she was a sexy grandma. And now, now what I find hilarious is in her brain, that actually happened to her. You know, like that. And she's probably told fucking 15 people about that. She might even, she might even have told the fucking manager of the mattress store. I might walk in there next month to buy pillowcases and find out that I've been banned for life. My fucking pictures printed on the back wall of the place. Do not serve this man. He's a sexual harasser. And now there's like a little butterfly effect of this old grandma going, telling her kids and her husband and her family and other old ladies at the fucking church about the horrible and terrifyingly large man with braces that sexually harassed her at the mattress store. And I hope to God that every single fucking person that she tells that story follows it up with a question and that question should be, why the fuck are you buying underwear at the mattress store? It's, it can't be good. And then they go, that's your fault. You know? I hope they all start victim blaming. Well, maybe if you weren't such a sexy grandma, you know, young men wouldn't feel the need, the temptation to go, ooh, a hot grandma, sexy grandma. Oh, my God. I've been thinking about that. That happened two weeks ago. I can't stop thinking about what her life is like now. Do you reckon I, if, that, if that happened to me, I would think about that every single time I needed underwear for the rest of my life. So for her, she's probably got three weeks of thinking about that. Every time she goes, I need a new bra, I'm going to go down to the mattress store. But there's her first mistake. And you know what's what, 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 like, I'll just never, I'll never be able to explain myself. And even if I was to, I would have to come up to her and she would see my braces and go, yeah, I don't believe him. <laughs> 